Hi everyone, welcome back. I want to apologize to all of you. I just returned back from taking my daughter to college. So it's been a little difficult, but we, we made it. It's all good. It's an experience, however, I will never forget. Okay, so today I kind of want to just skim through something that I'm going to probably expand in my readings. I'm going to expand and maybe make it um, maybe classes of some sort. Um, dealing with the connection of mind, body, and soul, right? We always say mind, body, and soul, but do we really understand the connection between the mind, body, and soul, as well as do we understand how the body is our navigation system and what, in essence, how it tells and speaks to us. I'm going to start that as a series or maybe classes. Um, so the first and the most important one that I'm going to talk about today that I believe is the windows of the soul being our eyes, right? So in eye reflexology, just real quick, I'm just going to give you a synopsis, yeah? The eyes not only are the windows to our soul, but also give us an in a precise, it's like the map. So you have the eye, right? And it's circular. And with within the eye, we have obviously, you know, the retina, the pupil, etc., and the external part of the eye. So look at the eye as the wheel of fortune, so to speak, right? And within that, within the eye holds the external is like the upper back, the lower back, the pelvis, right? On the, on the crevice, on the corner of the external of the eye, right? And then inside we have the small intestines and the large intestines. Then again, we have then another, another, as we get closer to the pupil, we have the stomach at, uh, on the external of the pupil, all right? And each, each area of the eye focuses on, it's kind of like the chakras, it focuses on color and what basically and how it affects us. So truly, if you learn about eye reflexology and if you are interested, and I will start a series on each body part and how we can learn from how our body is talking to us, okay? So I will be doing that. I also want to talk about, let me not, let's get back to the series of the eye. The, uh, the, this is most important because what one sees is not exactly what others see, correct? We perceive things, everyone has their own perception of what they see. I may see something in a card, but you may see something different because it is applicable to your situation if it's not a generalization, so to speak, right? Okay, so as everything in the body, within the body, the eyes also have toxi toxins Sorry, from things like coffee that we drink, right? And from fried foods and drugs and, you know, how our lines affect us, and how they fade, how some are more distinguished than others. We also have the white line versus the darker line and what the colors and like the wheel, right, depict. Okay, so I will start that. And if maybe I'll do that on, um, I'll do that on Vimeo and I'll offer that up as, um, as I get classes in that. I think it's important that we understand how everything is synergy. We're all connected, mind, body, and soul, but it's not that 
general. I want it, I want to go deeper into the connection of mind, body, and soul. As I start with the body, we will start, the first class will be the eye reflexology. If you're interested, I will have that, I will let, I'll give you a heads up. Give me a couple weeks and I'll start those classes. Okay, let's get started for Friday, the 14th of August, 2020. Again, thank you for each and every one of you. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. And I thank you for your understanding of my needing to take my daughter to college. <laughs> okay, so the first card that comes out is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, of course, is an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It does not have to be only an Earth sign, but we all, as you know, right, we all have the elements within us. So this could be you sitting comfortably, financially abundant, comfortably in your power of your energy is, your energy is, I don't know, widespread. I just heard widespread. Um, the king holds on his, when, as he's on his throne, you can see that he has pomegranates and pomegranates and grapes depict obviously the the stability, the red, as you can see, and the greens, right? Um, interesting how interesting how you, you almost can see here like a bowl. I've never seen that. So this is important for this reading. A, it looks like a bowl. So someone who is... Well, it could be bullheaded, right? It's kind of like right there. It could also depict an Aries person. Or it could be, I'm not going to say a lion because it really looks like a bull. So someone who is very bullish. All right, I'm going to say that. As I look, this is the first time I've seen that, you guys. It could also be the protection of the strength of the bull, right? Someone who makes this, someone who is secure and stable financially is without question, someone who is very bullheaded, stubborn, but because why? Because they know how to make money. They know how to save money and they know that to be, to be this profitable, it takes patience as well, right? Strike strike while the iron's hot. Okay, interesting. And we have, he lives in this castle right here, right? Here's the castle. Okay, so someone very comfortable and very secure. And someone who could have children Someone who is generous with their children. This could easily depict a father figure who gives generously to their children. It could be giving love, support, and attention. It doesn't have to, and their time, obviously. It doesn't have to be their money, but it could be, obviously. Right? It looks like the same home right here, right? It looks very similar. The also give giving their children their abundant love this could also mean a soulmate also it could be a partner who you've known sorry that's yours. sorry sorry oh well maybe that's it right maybe that's it the partner in crime for for some, because he's like, he just barked. So that could be our heads up. This could be a partner in crime. Uh, it could be taken, you know, in the positive sense, or it could be, you know, someone who has someone, their partner is someone that they feel, you know, they do things with 
no matter what, you know, no one judges them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's interesting. All right, let's see. Oh, geez. All right, a sudden. All right, so be mindful. If you're in, if you're in a town that has fires, be mindful of the potential of a fire. I'm, that's the first. Actually, it's the first thing I saw was the fire coming out, as well as something suddenly happening that you don't see coming, okay? You're surprised. It's a surprise, okay? It's coming, it's gonna come out of the blue. So let's see what's happening. What is this? Let's see if it's something, uh, let's see if it's positive or negative, right? I mean, we have to just look, okay? Okay. All right. Interesting. We have the family, right? So this obviously is a family, correct? This is a family. We only see the masculine right now. So that could be a father figure with children. It could also mean the soulmate, a soulmate is there, but you can't see it, that person, but they're there, right? We're, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, so we have the happy family, etc. But then we have something coming out of the blue. And here is an offer. Is it an offer of love? Is it someone who's single with children? Could there be someone who's a father who has children and wants and is going to come out of the blue and say, I want to commit to you. I want to be with you. Let's put our families together, right? It could be many things, all right? There is an opportunity coming out of the blue. As you can see, literally, the hand of God is bringing something to someone out of the blue that you, it could be an opportunity, an offer, right? Now, he's not looking at this offer, so be mindful of that. He's a little defensive, so maybe he's closed, being closed-minded. Let's look and see. Something, something is with this offer. Let's, oh, it's love. Okay, so for, oh, oh my God, look at this. All right, so. Here comes this King of Pentacles. And I'm feeling now with the lovers and the Six of Cups. Are you kidding? That's like soul connection. A soul mate. A twin flame. Whatever you want to call it. You choose. This King of Pentacles is coming out of the blue to make an offer of... Is going to feel like... It's going to come quick. Maybe someone's coming quick to inform you and to, to inform you of their love, their forgiveness, not inform, but to, to offer their love and forgiveness. And it's going to come out of the blue. You're not going to see it coming. It's just going to happen. And this is depiction with the two cards, like I said. This is a serious offer. And it could be love and forgiveness or just forgiveness. I, I'm really not sure. This person is going to feel very, I hear, indifferent. It's going to be like, what? Like, why are you coming to say you're sorry at this point? So this could be something that has been kind of like, no one, you, I think this is how I'm feeling. I think someone's going to have a hard time saying it, saying they're sorry. And I also feel that when they do come to offer their apology and love to you, it's going to be, it will be received. But you're thinking, if it's you, if this is you, King of Pentacles, wondering if this offer will be accepted 
Um, I don't know if it'll be accepted because I can't say that, but I can tell you that this offering is, um, I keep saying offering you guys, there's an offer of love and forgiveness. And this person's going to have, definitely, I'm having a hard time literally letting it out. I'm having a hard time like that fish. I'm feeling like it's not something that I would, I would be comfortable in saying. Many people are not comfortable saying, I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry how you were feeling. I, I'm sorry, but will you take my cup? I want to be with you. This is coming out of the blue, literally. Someone could be coming to your home via car. I feel it's the car. You're being guided. Someone's obvious. The universe is guiding this person to you without question. You can see that, right? Universe is guiding someone to you. They're ready to offer their love and ask for forgiveness. But I got to tell you, look at there's the wheel. See, this is there. There's the here we have the pupil, and then the external right is the stomach, and then the out here is the large intestine, small intestine, and then on the external out here is where you have the upper back, the neck, the face, just like the chakras, right? All seven chakras aligning. Okay, I will do that. However, let's not, let's, let's refocus here on the story here. Someone coming to literally offer love, forgiveness, and it could be they're coming to you by car, coming to see you by car, right? And I think if I'm not mistaken, we do have, look at, kind of similar, right? So these are all winged animals, Right, so heaven has definitely put these two together. Also, the the Sphinx is very dominant in the depiction of both these cards. So this is a soulmate for sure, someone you've had a past life with. Doesn't mean someone, it could be someone from the past that you grew up with. It could, it's going to be an offer coming in of forgiveness and love. X marks the spot. I don't know why I just saw that. And the heavens, the heavens are, are having, are putting this together. Look, someone is coming in to offer this. I want to give you the world. I offer you I want to give you everything, right? I want to give you everything. And the reason why we talked about the eye is what you see, like now you're going to be seeing clearly. That's how I feel. You're really going to be seeing clearly because someone is going to emotionally, emotionally give of themselves to you. And that's huge. I want to give you the world. That's exactly what someone's going to say. Take my offer, the wand. Let's, let's be together, right? We have Sag. We have Cancer. We have, um, right? The wheel is Sag. We have the chariot is Cancer. The wheel is Sag, right? Of course, we have all water and we have the pentacles and we have Gemini in the lovers, okay? And the world, which is Capricorn. Someone is now ready to speak up. They, they are coming, they're coming. Yep, there it is. They're ready. They're ready to speak up. And I think that's why I had such a hard time pulling it out. Someone's going to have a hard time pulling it out to, 
to really tell you exactly how they're feeling. And things that you didn't know, again, is coming out into the light. You're going to know, you're going to be very clear after you get this, after this, you get this visitor, this ex, this new person, who, whomever is coming out of the blue is going, is going to lay all the cards literally like I have on the table. And then there's the offer. So this King of Pentacles is asking for forgiveness, love, and an offer that they're, you're going to go into the future with, right? You see the future here. I offer you the world. Let's just, let's do something together. Let's be together. Let's, it's, it's huge. Oh yeah, look at, it is, it is. It's, give me a second chance or maybe more chances, what have you. I want to offer you, and if you don't, if you don't believe <laughs> that the angels are in this, are in this union, you're, you know, come on, then you don't see what I see, <laughs> right? The angelic realm is definitely guiding these two together. And here's the bull again. Someone was, someone is, Someone is like, I think they had to convince themselves to come to you. They were, they were not ready. Now they're ready. What can I tell you? Something about being bullish. They may be stubborn. Right? It is, it could be all about them, but yet they want to offer you the world. So, all right. So this is going to be for Friday and probably through the weekend and maybe, I don't know, it may be, it may be applicable like next week, going into the week, okay? There's no time frame here. Let's just take it for what it's worth. And this is a beautiful reading where someone is offering deep love and forgiveness. And there is an offer on the table to do something together. Let's get, let's collaborate on something that maybe you're going to, someone's going to say, you know, I have this idea. This could be an idea or it could just be the start of something new in love. Where both parties are comfortable financially comfortable, that you don't have to worry about money. Okay, let's take this one. Freya is about, this is the beginning. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So the truth is coming out. Here it is. That's the moon card. Someone is coming to tell you the truth. Someone is coming to literally... Just lay it out, lay it all out for you. And you're gonna be surprised. Let's get, let's get a couple more. Let's get two more, please. And thank you. The Holy Spirit, look at that. Expect miracles. This is gonna be a miracle from heaven. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. So in the natural order of time, this person is now coming out of the blue to, to say, please forgive me. And, you know, I want to be with you. Spirit has your back. Well, of course. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And there it is. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Someone is going to tell you exactly what's been going on. If there is someone that comes back to you and says, I need to just please listen. 
just listen, right? God gave a God has given us two ears and one mouth for a reason. So listen when this person comes in to tell you the truth of how they feel, of how they're sorry for whatever that is. There needs to be a sense of forgiveness and the cycle is some ending with this ending with an ending that has happened in your life and or someone else's the wheel is turning for you two to come together again and maybe settle the score right we're definitely settling the score here but the score is being settled through not only the voice of truth but kindness and love that one and peace that one comes with like after like someone has gone through a transformation for sure. We'll take these two. Actually, I'm going to take one more. Okay. Ask for help. What is it that you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. He looks like the hermit and the king of pentacles. So maybe someone is going to say, I need your help. Or you're going to be saying, oh my God, thank God you're here because I need your help. Right? It's someone who's wise. He looks just like the wise man. Right? He could be an older guy. Which is not, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Sorry. Wisdom is not about age. Wisdom is about experience. This is a 14, which breaks down to a five. Someone is coming to, someone has gained wisdom from someone. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing's more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. However, I feel this guy is asking for the forgiveness from her. So this is the King of Pentacles who has literally, literally found his way back to someone who he wanted to ask for forgiveness, apology accepted, and love. I love you. Be with me. I don't know. This is an 11, you guys. This could be your twin flame, your soul counterpart. It is. It's not a could be. It is. It is. And they've grown up. They've grown up. Do you see how they look at each other? Same same depiction, grown up. So this is someone that you could have grown up with or that you, you know, you've been together before. Like attracts like, which is, of course, the miracle of two people getting together. If you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And I think that's what has now taken place. Someone is back to feeling that innocence and that love in a union. Once it comes together, you're going to not only feel like a child again, but someone is going to be brutally honest, I just heard. This is really interesting. Um, so what you see... Or what you thought you saw, let's say if you were looking up an X or whatever, what you thought you saw isn't what you're seeing now. Now you get the real deal. This is the real story. Someone's coming to you with like their heart on their sleeve. That's what I just heard. Have a great weekend and thank you again for your understanding and patience. Have a great weekend.